Okay, this particular problem is not overly challenging, but I did want to make sure I went over it um, because there's a way to check your answer. And this is a problem that we can probably get the answer in under 30 seconds. But then if you make a mistake in that under 30 seconds, bam, the whole problem's wrong. So we want to try to avoid that by saying, how can I look back at this and check my answer? So pretty much in order to solve this problem, you're asking what number do we add to both sides? This problem is really asking you what's the magic number to use terminology that we used earlier in the semester. And if you remember the formula for that, it's pretty much all it's asking you is to take the middle coefficient, divide by 2, and then square it. So in terms of our problem here, that would be 6 divided by 2 and square it. That's 3 squared. That's 9. We're going to add 9 to both sides. Done. Happy, happy. But again, if we made a mistake along the way, it's kind of hard to find by just spitting out an answer. So what I would do if I were you is I would think through this a little bit further and say, OK, suppose I did add this to both sides. What would that look like? That would be x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 8 plus 9. And I'm not going to ask you to fully solve this out. That's not helpful here. What is helpful is to say, did I successfully complete the square? Because remember, the whole purpose of completing the square is to make it so that your left-hand side is a perfect square. It's something that would factor. So you could ask yourself, does this, in fact, factor as a perfect square? If I do x plus 3 times x plus 3, do I, in fact, get x squared plus 6x plus 9? And so if I foiled this out, I will see that I do, in fact, get back to x squared plus 6x plus 9. That does, in fact, factor as a perfect square, which means that when I added 9 to both sides, which was the answer I gave, I did succeed in completing the square. So that's just something to think about is to say, how can I check my answer in these cases? And so there's a way.